like the title says, welcome to my 5 a.m. morning routine. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend like I do this all the time at home. I just did this for two weeks due to my decision to work while being in Belize. My job can be done remotely as long as I have internet, so it allows me to do stuff like this, which honestly I love so much and I'm so thankful for it. I was determined to save my vacation days for a trip to Japan, but that is looking less and less likely as the days go on. And yes, I am crying with the rest of the world. In order to make the most of my days, I decided I would wake up at 5 a.m. every day to be able to get all of my work done and still have a full day of laying on the beach and doing whatever I wanted. Honestly, it was a really cool way to extract the most of my trip and it definitely paid off in the end, even though it was very early for me. Um, the sun is about to rise, so I'm gonna go get ready to watch it and take a little break from work. One year ago, a man was shot on this very dock. The story is a bit curious to me, so I wanted to share it with you all. A woman named Jasmine Harton, a Canadian-born woman who was the partner to the son of one of the most wealthiest families in the UK, the Ashcrofts, and Henry Jemot, the superintendent of the police in Belize and the father of five children, were out together late at night. She proclaimed to be a socialite and spent a lot of time with important people on the island. The story goes they were out for drinks one night and decided to go for a walk. They ended up on a dock and she began giving him a back massage. She claims that he had been scolding her earlier for not carrying a firearm for protection around the island, so he gave her his handgun to handle and to get familiar with. This is where the details get a little weird to me. Photos on Facebook with her with guns at shooting range started popping up and shortly after they were being taken down. Some articles say very things, but from what I gather, she was giving him a massage during all this talk and instruction about the gun. She had the gun near her while giving him the back massage and she claims that he requested the gun back eventually. As she was handing the officer his gun, the gun fires and a bullet shoots into the back of Officer Jimot's head. He falls into the water and he obviously dies. She was put into jail and soon after was released after someone posts bail for her, roughly $30,000, seemingly going free without further information or details. Disclaimer, I am not a journalist and I've only read a handful of articles on this event and have heard from third party people while in Belize about it. Therefore, I don't claim to know all of the information or have the ability to fully convey the situation. I'm not here to throw shade or spread information. This is just a very interesting story to me. My mom actually refuses to go on the dock, but I found it quite interesting and I spent most of my morning stretching out here watching the sunrise.
grumpy. It's okay. <laughs> and that is the basic outline of what my days look like. Work, beautiful sunrises, tasty coffee and food, yoga, a bike ride or a long walk, and of course, to finish it all off, the pool. I tried to at least have a little nap before the evening so I wasn't a total zombie for the rest of the night. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you liked it and come back for some more. Much love, Mandy Lee. The birds are fighting. <laughs>